Hey guys! Alpha Star here, and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be reading the entire United States Constitution on uh, film. So, <clears throat> now, a lot of people will say, Hey, that's illegal. Hey, that's illegal. But many people don't know what is in the Constitution. So, I'm going to do that today and take the liberty of it. Now you're probably wondering, hey Andrew, why aren't you reading the Declaration of Independence? That's a lot more famous. Well, I'm not reading that because it's actually pretty short. You if you look up um, how long the Declaration of Independence is, it's actually a really short document. The Constitution is a lot longer, so I figured I'd read that. So, <clears throat> here goes. The Constitution of the United States of America. We, the people of the United States, in order form of a per more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for common defense, promote a general for welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity, do ordain and establish this Constitution of for the United States of America. That's, that's like probably the most famous paragraph in history. Article 1, Section 1. All legislative powers herein granted shall be vested in the Congress of the United States, which shall consist of the Senate and the House of Representatives. Section 2. The House of Representatives shall be composed of the members chosen every second year by the people of several states, and elections in each state shall have the qualifications rescue for electors. See, there's a lot of big words in this because this was wrote, written in like the eight, the uh, late 1700s, so obviously they are going to use a lot of big words and stuff that I don't understand, so um, a lot of the things I'm really going to mispronounce and stuff, so anyways, yeah. See, it's a qualification to receive for electors of most numerous branch of the le state legislator. No person shall be a representative who shall not have attained an age of 25 years and have and been seven years a citizen of the United States. And who shall not be elected to the inhabitant of the state in which uh, he shall be chosen. Representatives and direct taxes shall be appointed among the several states which may be included within this union according to their respective numbers, which shall be determined by adding to the whole number of free persons, including those bond to serve for a term of years, and excluding Indians not taxed three fifths of all other persons. The actual enum enumeration shall be made uh, within three years after the first meeting of the Congress of the United States, and within every subsequent term of ten years in such manner as they shall by law direct. The number of representatives shall not exceed from one for every 30,000. Okay, just to recap real quick, they're talking about the House of Representatives right now and like the laws about it. Years in such manner as they shall by law direct. The number of representatives shall not, shall not exceed one for every 30,000, but each state shall have one, at least one representative, unless you're a representative. So if you don't know how the... They're basically saying that um, each state has a different number of representatives in the House of Representatives, and it can have less than one, like, of course. <laughs> and until such enumeration, until such enumeration shall be made, the state of New Hampshire shall be entitled to choose three, Massachusetts eight, Rhode Island and Providence, Plantons 1, Connecticut 5, New York 6, New Jersey 4, Pennsylvania 8, Delaware, Maryland, Maryland 6, Virginia 10, North Carolina 5, South Carolina 5, and Georgia 3. So they're basically saying for each different state, because uh, in this time there's 13, they're each having different numbers of representatives. So those are the numbers right there. <clears throat> Thank you. This happens such representation from any state and executive authorities thereof shall be issue rights of election. Uh, to fill such vacancies. The House of Representatives shall cause their speaker and our of officers and shall have the sole power of impeachment. Section 3. The United, the Senate in the United States shall be composed of two senators for each state. So it's not like the House of Representatives or every state has a different number of representatives and the Senate is just two per state. So it'll be composed of two senators from each state chosen by the legislature three of for six years. So the senator is six years term House of Representatives, two years term. For six years, and each senator shall have one vote. Immediately after they shall be as assembled in the consequence of their first election, they shall be divided as equally as many be into three classes. The seats of the senators in the first class shall be vacated, 
in the experimentation of the second of the second class of the experimentation in the fourth year. In the third class of the experimentation six years so that one with one third may be chosen for every second year. And if vacancies happen the registration otherwise during the recess of the legislature of any state, and the executive thereforth may be temporarily appointments until the next meeting of the legislature, which shall then fill such vacancies. No person shall be a senator who is who shall not have attained it at the age of 30 years, so he has to be 30 years old in order to be a senator, and been nine years a citizen of the United States, and he shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of the state for which he has shall been chosen. The vice president of the United States shall be president of the Senate, but shall not have no vote unless they be equally divided. That's actually the only rule the Constitution gives the vice president. That's it. They just break ties in the Senate. The Senate shall be caused there no other... There are other officers, and also a president pro tempore, and the absent of the vice president or one shall be exercised office of the president of the United States. The Senate shall have the sole power to try all impeachments when sitting for purpose. They shall be on the states as tried. A chief justice shall preside, and no person shall be convicted without the concurrence of two thirds as members of present. Of present. Judgment in cases of impeachment shall not exceed further than the removal of office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States, but the party convinced it shall nevertheless be liable to subject to indication, trial, judgment, and punishment according to law. Section 4. Times, placements, and manner of holding for elections for senators, representatives, shall be prescribed in each Senate by, by the legislator thereof. But the Congress may not at any time by law make or alter such regulations except as the places causing this question the senators. The Congress shall be assembled at least once every once in every year, and such meetings shall be on the first Monday in December, unless they shall by law appointed appoint a different day. Section five that each house shall have a be the judgment for the elections, returns and qualifications of its own members and and the Majority of each shall constitute a quorum to do business. By a smaller number of many adjoin from the day from today, and may be authorized to compel the attendance from absent from absent members, in such manner and under such penalties as each house may provide. Each house may determine the rules of proceedings, punishment, punish its members for disorderly behavior, and with the of the two thirds, expel a member. Each house shall keep a journal from its proceedings and from time to time publish the same exceeding such parts as may, in their judgment, to require secrecy. <laughs> and yes, if now, and yes, if now of each members of, of the members of either house, and any question shall at the dicer. Of one fifth of those, no, oh, second. Um, okay, no mind. Uh, question shall decrease of one fifth of this president to be endured by the journal. Neither house during the secession of Congress shall, without the cons consent of the other, adjourn for more than three days, nor any other place than than that in which the two houses shall be sitting. <sighs> okay, section six: Senators and representatives shall be achieved the a comp compensation for their services uh, to be asserted by law and paid out for the treasury of the United States and they shall have cases except treason, felony, breaches of peace be privileged to from the rest during the attendance of the secession of the representative houses and then yelling and returning from the same and for speech debate in either house they shall not be questioned in any other place. No senator or representative shall during their time and for which he is elected, be appointed any civil office under the authority of the United States, which shall have been created for the. I have no idea what that is. Emolsments thereof shall have been erased during such time, and no person holding any officer under the United States shall be a member of either house during the continuance in office. Whew. Section 7. All bills for raising revenue shall ordin ordinate in the House of Representatives, but the Senate may propose or concur with amendments 
as on other bills. Every bill which shall have been passed by the House of Representatives and the Senate shall before it becomes law be passed to the President of the United States. If he approve, he shall sign it, but if not, shall return it with his objections to the House, and which shall be organized. So that's basically a veto, what they described there. Who shall enter obligations at large on their journal and proceed to reconsider it if, if after such uh, recons reconsideration two-thirds of the House of that house shall agree to pass the bill it shall be sent together two objections the other house by which shall, shall it shall likewise be reconsidered and if approved by two-thirds of that house it shall become law so that's basically a presidential override but in, in all such cases the votes of both houses shall be determined by the yees and nas and the names of the persons voting for the against and against the bill shall be entered by the journal of each house respectively if any bill shall not be returned by the president within ten days, some days accepted, after it have been proceeded to him, and the same shall be in law in any manner, as if he had signed it, unless the Congress had their appointments preferred, prevent its return, in which case it shall not be law. Every other recons re resolution or vote to which the concurrence and state as for presumers may be necessary, except for the question of the enjoyment, shall be pres pre presented to the President of the United States, and before the same shall take effect, it shall be appointed, approved by him, or be disapproved by him, shall be read past two thirds of the state and house representatives according to the rules and laws nations prescribed in the case of a bill. Section 8 The Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes, duties, and impose uh, excuses. To pay the debts and provide the common defense and general welfare for the United States, but all duties imposed and ex exercise ex shall be uniform throughout the United States. To borrow money and credit from the United States to regulate commerce without foreign nations among the several states in the Indian tribe, to establish uniform rule of naturalization in order from the laws and subject to bring overseas through the United States to coin money and regulate the value thereof of a foreign coin. And fix the standard of the whites and measures to provide the foreign to provide the punishment of the counterfeiting, counterfeiting and securing the current coin of the United States to establish post offices and roads to promote the progress the progress of science and useful arts by securing the limited times and authors to inventors and exclusive rights to their own respective writings and discoveries to constitute tribunals and uh, tribunals and affairs to the Supreme Court. To define and punish parties and felonies committed by the high seas and office of great laws and nations, to declare war, great leaders, uh, marquee and respond and make rules and con uh, concerning captures and land and water, to raise and support armies and a portion of money, and to be used a uh, longer term in two years to provide and maintain a navy, to make rules and government regulations to the land and naval forces, to provide the calling forth of militia. To execute the laws of the Union, the president ins insecure in in ins to repeal invasions, to provide for organizing army and displacing the militia for governmenting parts of them as may be employed in the service of the United States, serving to the states of the respectively in the appointments of officers to the authority, training for the militia according to the despite uh, discipline prescribed by Congress. To exercise executive legislation of all cases whatsoever, in order such a district, no accepting miles a square, as may succession to the particular state, the acceptance of Congress became the seat of government of the United States, and to exercise the authority all, all over places purchased by the cons consent of the legislator of the Senate, and what shall be for the, for the, uh, the placement of forts, magazines, arsenals, dockyards, and other ne needful buildings, and to make laws in which shall, shall be necessary for a proper for carrying in the execution of foregoing powers and all of the powers vested by the Constitution of the government, the United States and Department of Officer thereof. Section 9. The migration, the migration and importation of such persons as any of the states now existing shall think proper to admit 
shall not be prohibited by Congress there prior to the year 1,888. Oh. But a tax or duty may be imposed as a deportation, not exceeding $10 for each person. The privilege of the right Hebrews Congress shall not be suspended unless in which case the rebellion or no reason of public safety may require it. No bill of uh, a trainer or ex post effect law may shall be passed. No caption or the direct tax shall be laid unless in proportion to the census or nomination hereby within direct to be taken. No tax or duty shall be laid into the articles um, exported from any state. No preference shall be given by any regulation of commerce or revenue to the ports of one state over those of another. Nor shall be vessels bound to from or one state to be obliged, obliged to enter clear or by plea duties to another. No money shall be drawn from the treasury, but in Congress, consequence of appointments be the law and a regular statement in the count of separatists according to the exercise of all money. Money shall be published from time to time. No title or nobility shall be granted to by the United States, and no person holding office, any office or profit or trust, another than shall without cons consent of the unit of the Congress, except any present um, annulment office or title of any kind whatsoever from any king, prince, or foreign state. Section 10. No state shall enter into the Treaty Alliance of Confiscation of Great Landers of, Mar of Marquis Rizal at coin money. Bills, credit, or make anything but gold and silver coin, uh, attain tender in payment of debts, pass any bill of attainer, ex, ex post falco law. No state shall, without consent of the Congress, delay any imposts or duties to impose an expense from with, without maybe absolutely necessary for executing its insufficient laws and other produce any all duties of imposts laid by the Treasury of the United States and, and shall such laws be. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, so it's laws net to produce all, all duties imposed laid by any state imports or exports shall be for the foreign use of treasury of the United States and shall laws shall be subject to revision and uh, control of Congress. No states, no states shall, uh, without the consent of Congress, uh, lay any duty of tonnage, keep trees, but ships of war. In a time of peace, or into the agreement or compact without another state or the foreign power to engage in war unless actually invaded, or in such amendment, danger will not omit or uh, of delay. Okay, so that was Article 1. That was about the Congress. <laughs> Gee, okay, Article 2. Article 2, Section 1. The executive power shall be directed in the President of the United States of America. He shall hold this office during the term of four years, and together with the vice president, be chosen at the same term, be elected as follows. Each state shall appoint such a meter, mander of a legislator thereof may direct a number of electors equal to the number of senators or representatives to which the state may be entitled in the Congress. But no senator or representative or person holding an office of trust or profit under the United States shall be appointed as an elector. The electors shall meet in their respective states and vote by ballot for two persons, of whom at least shall not be an inhabitant of the same state than themselves. And they shall make it a list of all persons voted for, and of the number of votes for each, which list they shall sign to uh, certify and transmit shield, uh, shield to the seat of the government of the United States directed to the person of the Senate. The, per, the president of the Senate shall, in pre, the president of the Senate House of Representatives, open all certificates, and the votes shall be counted. The person having the greatest number of votes shall be the president, if such number of be a majority of the whole number of elections be appointed, and if there be more votes than majority than the equal numbers of votes than the House of Representatives, should be immediately closed by ballot for one of them, for the president, and if no person have a majority than the from the highest on the list at the said house shall in like manner cause the president but in such causing of the president of the vote shall be taken by states representatives representation from each state having one vote a quorum for this purpose shall consist of a member for members of two 
two-thirds of the Senate, the majority of all states shall be in necessary the choice of one every case after the choice of the president. The person having the greatest number of votes of the electors shall be the vice president, but if but if there should be should remain two or more who have equal votes, the state shall cause from them ballot of the vice president. The Congress may determine the time causing the electors and day on which they shall give their votes, which day shall be the same throughout the United States. No person except for a natural born citizen or citizen of the United States uh, of adoption of this Constitution shall be eligible for office of the president, neither shall any person be eligible that office who shall not have attend, attain the age of 35 years and been 14 years resident within the United States. In case of removal from the president from the office or of his death, uh, resignation, or inability to discharge the powers of duties in said office shall, shall devolve on the vice president of the Congress made law provide for the case removal, death, resignation, and ability both of the president and the vice president declaring what officer shall then act president and such officer shall act accordingly until disability been be removed or a president shall be elected. The president shall stand st at stated times receive for his services a comp compensation for which shall neither be Increase not this demission during the period for which he shall be elected, and he shall not receive within any period of other endorsement from the United States or any of them. Before he entered the execution of his office, he shall take the following oath or affirmation: I do solemnly swear that I. I do solemnly swear that I faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve and protect the Kennedy in this. To preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Whoa, this, this is insane. Um, okay. Section 2. The President shall be the Commander-in-Chief of the Army or Navy of the United States of the militia of the several states. When called to the actual service of the United States, he may require the option in writing of the principal officer in each execute executive departments upon any subject relating to the duties of their respective offices, and he shall have the power to grant representatives and pardons of for officers' offenses against the United States, except in the case of impeachment. <sighs> okay. He shall have the power by and with the advice and consent of the Senate to make treaties provided by two-thirds of the senators and present to occur, and shall be nominated by and with the advocate, advice and consent of the Senate, and shall appoint ambassadors and other public ministers, um, consuls, judges, um, to the Supreme Court, and all of their officers of the United States whose appointments are not here and otherwise provided for and we shall be established by law about their inferior officers as they think proper the president alone in court of law or in head of departments the president shall have power to fill up vacancies all vacancies that may happen during the recess of senate by granting the com commissions which shall expire at the, the end of their next session Section 3. He shall from all, from time to time, give the Congress information of the Senate of the Union and recommend to their consideration such measures, <laughs> measures, <laughs> measures, he shall judge necessary and expedient. He may, on extraordinary occasions, conserve both, convey both houses or either of them in the case of disagreement between them to respect the time of adjournment he may adjoin them to such time as he shall think proper he shall receive ambassadors and the other public ministers he shall take care of all officers to be faithfully executed and shall commission all other officers to the United States uh, of the United States President and Vice President of all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for conviction of treason, bribery, and other high crimes and misdemeanors.
Article 3. This is about the um, Supreme Court. The judicial power of the United States shall be vested in the Supreme Court. And if in such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time ordain and establish the judges from both the Supreme and inferior courts shall hold their offices during the good behavior and shall stay at times receive their services and compensation with shall not be disminded, diminished during the continuance in office. Section Dos. The judicial power shall be extended in all cases in law and equity using arising un, under this constitution. The laws of the United States and treaties make or which shall be made under the authority to all cases affecting the ambassadors, other public ministers, and condolences in all cases of a ministry and a maritime jurisdiction. The con the conservatories to which the United States shall be a party or conferences between the two or more states, between the state and citizens in another state, between the citizens of different states, between the citizens of the same state, came in the lands other than the grants uh, under grants <coughs> of different states in the land between a state and the citizens thereof, the foreign states and citizens of four subjects. In all cases of affecting ambassadors and or, and or public ministers and condoles and those in which a state shall be a party, the Supreme Court shall have original jurisdiction in all other cases before mentioned. The Supreme Court shall have a appeal jurisdiction for both law and fact, which shall, which such expectations and under such regulations as the con Congress shall make. The trial of all crimes except for in cases of impeachment shall be by jury, and such trials shall be held in the Senate where the time where the said crimes shall have been committed but were never committed with any state the trial shall be at such places or places by Congress may by law have it directed. Section three treason against the United States shall consist only living war against them or inheriting their enemies giving the aid or comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless the testimony of the two witnesses to the same overt overt act or no confession in open court, the Congress shall have the power to declare punishment of treason to no alter of treason shall work corruption of blood forfeit except during the life of the person attained. Article 4 <sighs> Section 1 fu Full faith in the credit shall be given in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state in the Congress shall be made Many, by general laws, prescribe the manner in which such acts, records, and proceedings shall be provided is the effect of thereof. Section 2. The, Cong the citizens of each state shall be entitled to all privileges, immunities, and citizens of the several states. A person charged with any s in any state for treason, felony, or any other crime who shall be flee from justice and be found in any other state with such manner uh, executive authority of the state. From which he fled, should be div div delivered up to be removed from the state, having jurisdiction of the crime. A no person held, in the, held to service of labor in one state, or laws thereof escaping into any other, shall be con consequent of any other law or jur regulation therein, be discharged of any from such service or laborer, but shall be delivered up on claim of the party to whom the service or laborer shall be due. Section 3. New states shall be admitted to the Congress by in which union, but no new state shall be formed or placed within the jurisdiction of any other state, nor will any state be formed by the jurisdiction of two or more states or parts of states without the constant legislators of the states concerned as well as of the Congress. The Congress shall have the power to dispose and make of all needful rules, regulations, respecting territory, or other property belonging to the United States, and nothing in this Constitution shall be concerned as to prejudice or any claims of the United States in any other particular state. Section 4. The United States shall be, shall be granted, shall guarantee to every state in this Union a Republican from the government, and shall protect each of them in the evasion of the legislature. 
And he's okay with the legislature can only the domestic violence. Article 5. Congress, whether two-thirds of both houses shall deem in necessary, shall propose amendments to this Constitution, or in the application of legislators, two-thirds of each several cents shall call the Constitution for proposing amendments, which in either case shall be val valid to enter its of proposes as part of this Constitution when ratified by the legislators, three-fourths of several states or conventions, and three-fourths thereof, one or the other may mode of ratification may be proposed by the Congress provided that no amendment may be made prior to one year by the year 1,808 in any manner affect first fourth clauses in ninth section of the first article that no state without its contestant sh shall be deprived of its equal suffrages in the Senate. Article 6. All debts contracted in the um, engagements inherited into before the adoption of this Constitution shall be valid against the United States in order. And under this Constitution, as under the Confederation, this Confederation and the laws of the United States, which shall be made to the pursuance thereof, the treaties made or with which shall be made under the authority of the United States shall be a supreme law in the land and the judges, and every state shall be bound thereby, and anything the Constitution, Constitution or laws of the state are changed, notwithstanding. Notwithstanding is actually a full word. Jeez, I didn't know that. The senators and representatives before mentioning, before mentioned, and members of the several state legislators and executive and judicial officers of both the United States and the several states have abound the ortho of the affirmation to support the Constitution, but no regulations to test shall ever be required as qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. Okay, here goes. Final article, I believe. Yep, Article 7, here it goes. The ratification of the Con conventions of the nine states shall be... Well, there's only nine states at this time. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, okay, because I'd be drawn the Indian, so, but, yeah, anyways. Most of the of the establishment of this Constitution between the standing states were found the same done in convention by the unanimous consent of the states present by the 17th day of the September in the year of for our Lord 3787 to the independence of the United States and the 12th witness thereof shall be 100 Trevor names. So this here is, I believe, the signature. So George Washington, President, Deputy of Virginia, New Hampshire, John Langdon, Massachusetts, Nicholas Gamlin, Massachusetts, Nicholas Gordon, Rupus King, Connecticut, Wilson, St. Johnson, Roger Sherman, uh, yeah, and, uh, New York, Alexander Hamilton. Ooh, Alexander Hamilton's signatures on the Constitution. I didn't know that. Woo, 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 woo. Alexander Hamilton, yeah, New Jersey. Will Lovingston, David Burley, Lynn Patterson, John Dillon, and Pennsylvania, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Morton, Robert Morris, Stuart Toome, Thomas Fitz. Thomas Fitzsimmons, Jared Owenson, James Wilson, and Governor Morris. Delaware is G. G. O. Reed gunning before John uh, John Dickerson, Richard Brennan, Maryland, James Hankinson, Dan St. Charles, Virginia, Jim Blair, Dan Madison Jr., North Carolina, Wim Billing, Richard Hugh Williams, South Carolina is J. Willie, Charles Charles Finley, Charles Pickney. Pierce Butler, Georgia, uh, William Hugh, and Arbor Baldwin. And there you go. That, that is the United States Constitution for you there. So, yep, there you go. That's what government you guys live under. That is the Constitution of the United States. I hope you guys enjoyed me reading it to you guys. And if you did watch the whole thing, which you I, you definitely did, and you definitely skimmed through this, is no way anyone has a life to skim through this whole thing, uh, to watch this whole thing. But um, yeah, so there you go. That's your that's your constitution. That is the government that you live under. You must follow those that set up every day. Yeah. See you guys later.